Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Ubiquity just released Unify Protect 1.14.9 for the UDM Pro, which the only listed improvement is the ability to move the database to external storage to prevent uh, disk space issues when using the internal storage, which completely makes sense. The upgrade went really smoothly, and we're just going to quick walk through on the settings here. Uh, I don't see anything new here in the settings, but one thing that I heard that this does is it uh, provides the ability to, for the protect instance to survive a hard reset on the UDM Pro. So we're going to take a backup here and then download it, save, just to make sure I have the latest, because I did change some things earlier this morning. Let's go into the, and let's factory reset. So here we are back from our hard reset. Obviously protect, not installed. So let's go ahead and install it. So we have no cameras, which I guess is expected. Import backup file. So have cameras, have no views, have none of the events survived because the events that I see here are just things that have happened in the last couple of minutes. So that is incredibly disappointing. I find it kind of shopping, shocking that Ubiquity would create a device with external storage and not make it so that the external storage makes allows the NVR to survive a hard reset for the device. There's a lot of risk there. And it's, especially with the stability, the current stability issues that are being experienced with the UDM Pro, I've had to hard reset the thing a few times for various reasons and to not have my recordings survive each time is very, very disappointing. And it, it makes me question whether or not it's smart to continue to use the UDM Pro as a single device to unify all of the these sorts of capabilities on my network. It's not awesome. Hopefully that's something they can fix though because it there's no reason why they couldn't store the configuration, they couldn't store the recordings and make it put it on the file system in such a way that makes it so that once you install the protect again that it couldn't recover from that and just detect that an existing instance is there and just, you know, figure it out. Hopefully that's something they can, they will do at some point. Um, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.